Hello and welcome to Kids Story Time Online, being read aloud by Nevaeh. So today's book is Oh Say Can You Say What the Weather's Today, and we have Cat in the Hat with two kids in a hot air balloon, and this is all about weather, and it's by Tish Rabe. And illustrations by Artis, Artisnan Rus. Okay, let's get started. Wow, look at that big red balloon. Oh, say what you... It's two... This is two little things. Thing one and thing two. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about, but that's what their name. So if you follow Dr. Seuss, you'll know why they're named that. Okay. Oh, look what we got here. All right. It says, I'm the cat in the hat, and it's raining, I know, but let's stay inside. We've got, let's not stay inside. We've got places to go. He's talking to the two kids. Looks like brother and sister. Oh, boy. Okay. Where the sunshine is shining, where the warm winds are blowing, where lightning is flashing, where snowflakes are snowing. He wants to take them to all of those different places. The weather is changing. Come on, let's get going. Well, have you ever been inside the house and wanted to go out because it's raining? I know I have. Oh, where have they gone already? First stop is the top of Mount Karamaku, where they study the weather. That's all they do. <laughs> it's a man with a map. Watching the weather helps everyone know what to wear, where to live, and what food they can grow. Well, that's very helpful. Yes. All right. On the next page. Pilots check weather when they fly a plane. Are they flying in sunshine or clouds filled with rain? Hmm. Corn grows where it's hot. Rice grows where it's wet. Did you know that? Farmers grow what grows best in the weathers they get. Oh, boy. Did you know that? Well, that's some, some good facts. I didn't know all of that. Let's turn this page. See what we got here. Looks like he's showing her a thermometer. And the kids are flying a kite. Wow. Meteorologists forecast the weather and say what kind of weather is heading our way. They send weather balloons. Oh, that's a weather balloon, not a kite. Floating high in the air to measure how hot or how cold it is there. Air temperature affects weather a lot. Thermometers show if it's cold or it's hot. That's why he's showing her a thermometer. Wow. That's a lot of information. Wind changes weather. We can see why. It blows clouds along and clears rain from the sky. Mmm. Little boy in the rain. Looks like he's in with the clouds and the sun's coming out. An emometer measures how fast the wind goes. The wind vane will show you which way the wind blows. Oh, wow. So it, this is an emometer. And this is what he's talking about, the wind vane. It goes around. You've seen that. It has north, south, east, and west on it. Okay. Oh, boy. On this map of weather, you'll see it is showing it's sunny in grit, but in gruel it is snowing. I don't know where those places are, but they must be in Dr. Seuss land. 
and they show you on the map grit and gruggle. Okay. A strong wind is blowing the snow right toward grit. Tomorrow the weather and grit will be wet. Symbols on the weather map show right away what kinds of weather we're having today. And there are different symbols on the, um, see the different symbols? And they show you what they mean. Wow, those are all important. This is a lot of information about what the weather. Weather forecasts are important to us. We need a jacket to wait for the bus. Will we need a jacket to wait for the bus? When clouds form a ring and it circles the moon, sailors know this ring means there's a storm coming soon. Ooh, look at the ring. Okay. Wow. A pine cone can forecast the weather. Here's why. It's closed when it's wet, open when it's dry. Isn't that something? Did you know that? Oh, there's a fact that we cannot explain. Frogs croak more, a lot more, when it's going to rain. <laughs> Look at all the frogs. <laughs> okay, they croak more when it's going to rain. I didn't know that. There are all kinds of clouds you can see in the sky. Circus or light wispy clouds floating by. Columbus clouds mean there's a storm on the way. You see the Columbus clouds on a warm sunny day. Wow, look at the different ones. Isn't that something? That's interesting. When a cloud touches down on the ground, it's called a fog. It mixes with smoke, then the fog becomes smog. Mm. A fun way to learn a cloud shape is to draw it. We said that's a citrus circus the minute we saw it. Okay. All right, these are all interesting, interesting. If you look inside any cloud, you would see water droplets that bounce all around happily. <laughs> if droplets get close, they will soon join together, get heavy and fall, then we're in for wet weather. Wow. Water droplets are tiny. This fact made us stop. It takes a million droplets to make one raindrop. Ooh, we did you know that? Okay. They fall to the ground. The sun energy turns them to water vapor, which we cannot see. Water vapor floats up, forms a new cloud, and then the rain falls from the cloud to the ground once again. Guess what they call this? Give it a try. So, oh, trissel. The path of the rain is called the water cycle. Wow. You see? So, she's showing the runoff from the mountain. It runs down, it runs off. Then the water becomes vapor, goes up, and goes up, and water vapor droplets form clouds. And then clouds become rain, and it starts all over again. Oh, boy. That's something. That's the water cycle. Ooh, look at this. What is that? Here are some words that we learned on vacation. Rain, snow, sleet, and hail are called precipitation. <laughs> oh boy, all of those together. Water changes to vapor is called evaporation. Okay. 
vapor changing to water is called consternation. Oh. Okay. We got lots of words here to remember. Who invented umbrellas? Well, we don't know who, but umbrellas are first made in China, it's true, out of a color paper and wood called bamboo. Did you know that? That's where umbrellas were made. Okay, thousands of years ago they were first made. <clears throat> so out in the sun, folks could walk in the shade. When it rained, they put wax on the paper, and here's why. Rain rolls off the wax, which keeps folks dry. Nice and dry. <laughs> he's got a water hose, and he's <laughs> got it right on the umbrella. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> The desert is dry, the reason is clear. Its rainfall is less than 10 inches a year. <gasps> My goodness, they don't get much rain. Here's a word we both like to rhyme it. The weather is a place has the most is its climate. All right, he's on a camel, and they were on camel hump. He's in between the humps. How do you keep cool when you live in the land that is hot, dry, and dusty, and covered in sand? Loose-fitting clothes let breezes blow through. Light colors bounce the sun rays off of you. Oh, that's smart. That makes sense. I hope I didn't miss a page. I think I did. Oh, oh. After the umbrella page, we were supposed to get this. When air warmer than freezing, I like to explain water falls from clouds, it falls down like as rain. When air freezing cold, it's important to know. Water falls from the clouds, but it falls down as snow. Oh, look at that. They're having a great time. Oh, look at that. A big magnifying glass to show you the snowflakes. Because they're tiny and you have to put them in a magnifying glass for them to be that big. If you magnify snowflakes the way that we are, you will see that each one is a six-pointed star. Oh, I didn't know that. They are made up of crystals, and each one you find is like no other snowflake. It's one of a kind. <gasps> Isn't that interesting? Wow. Okay. And we did the camels. We know about that. Where on the earth is the coldest meteorologist says? Antarctica is the freezing cold every day. Land in ice and deep drifting snow. The air is so cold the plants cannot grow. Oh boy, look at the penguins. How thick is the ice here? This made us think quick. We are standing on ice 7,000 feet thick. <gasps> oh, we. We used a thermometer and now we know. The air, it is colder than deep in the snow. <clears throat> wow. Everybody's bundled up. So it'll be nice and warm. Okay. In tropical jungle, it's hot and it's wet. If you go there to visit, you soon start to sweat. <laughs> He's sweating and he's offering them water. And that's so true. The weather is humid, which makes you feel sticky. The air is full of water. That's why you feel sticky. <clears throat> air conditioners help you feel better. Here's why cold air holds less water. 
so you feel cool and dry. <laughs> okay, well, that's a good feeling. In thunderstorms first, you'll see lightning flash. Then <clears throat> next, you'll hear thunder go rumble and crash. To find out how far thunderstorms are from you, try this easy trick. It's fun thing to do. Start counting when you see a lightning bolt flash. Stop counting when you hear the next thunder crash. Ooh. Take that number and divide it by five. When you do, that's the number of miles that the storm is from you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh boy. <coughs> Lightning is electric. One flash is so strong, it could light every light in your house all year long. <gasps> Did you know that? Oh, wee, gee whiz. Thunder won't hurt you, but lightning could. So here's a few things we would like you to know. Lightning strikes what is the tallest. So take it from me, in a thunderstorm, never stand under a tree. Oh, boy. If you're out in a field and have no place to go, get as small as you can, then crunch way down low. Ooh. Stay inside your car. If there's lightning around, it flows over your car and down into the ground. Isn't that something? Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, this is all good information about the weather. Ooh wee. Are you going to remember all this good information? <clears throat> if strong winds are blowing with hard driving rain, you may be in the middle of a hurricane. Winds blow in a circle both night and day, knocking lots of things down that get in their way. Ooh, hurricanes are not fun. Here's a hurricane fact that a favorite of mine. There can be lots of hurricanes at the same time. So each one gets a name, Andrew, Agnes, Dora, Lenny, Diana, Mitch, Bertha, or Flora. <laughs> they each get a name so they're never a doubt which hurricane people are talking about. Oh my goodness, look at the map. We do name them. Isn't that something? Oh boy, so we'll remember which hurricane it is. Okay, let's see this. Hurricanes blow things down, but I learned from thing two, tornadoes blow harder than hurricanes do. Thing two, talk to him. A, ter a tornado picks up everything it goes by, like a huge vacuum cleaner way up in the sky. Look at that. Oh, they're looking at it. They're standing online looking at it. It looks like a funnel and it has cars in there, boats and tree and it swirls around and touches the ground and all of these things go up. Oh my goodness. It spins like a top twirling round and round, pulling trees, cars and houses right off the ground. Once in a tornado, a chicken was tossed. She landed safely, but her feathers were lost. <laughs> She's naked. She's a little naked chicken. <laughs> That's a shame. Can you imagine being tossed in a... It's important to study the weather, it's true, but we cannot control it, whatever we do. They're waving goodbye to the cat in the hat. Or the sky may be filled with dark storm clouds, and then the sun will break through the through and shine down once again. We see weather keeping changing, but one thing we know: it makes life exciting wherever you go. Oh, that's so great. 
That is so great. Okay. Um, it has a glossary, but I don't know if you want to know about that. But uh, when you get the book yourself, you'll be able to know what the glossary is about. And uh, that's a fun thing to know. And we just want to share with you some more books. And again, I need to uh, let you know about this one. Um, there's so many books to share, I'm trying to decide which one. This one is uh, interesting, and we'll see what he says. If this one is next, we're going to share with you this one. Another one says, I am mm, not going to get up today. Looks like a young boy. <laughs> he's in bed and he's not going to get up. Okay, we'll see you on the next book. Thank you for watching. Bye now.